Hi, it's a quick video about a project I've been working on for quite some time. This is my Arduino tank. You may have seen some out there before. Uh, I've been working on this for quite some time, mostly because I've been having trouble with some of the programming. Uh, most of the stuff you see here was bought at sparkfun.com. This is the tank tread kit that they sell from Tamiya. I also have the dual gearbox and dual motor set that's down in there. That's from SparkFun. Uh, the Arduino was bought at SparkFun. This orange section you see here is the Ardumoto shield that I use to drive the motors with. Uh, it can be set for two separate motors. You can hear my dog growling down there. He's looking at a piece of cake. Uh, I've got an XB module that I bought from them. Now this other blue piece, I found that online. Uh, it's uh, www.1be one inm.com and uh, that actually came from China it took about a month to get here but I really like it it's a nice XB shield uh, one problem I did have is the XB shield to have power has to feed up through this header now the motor driver shield did not have that so I bought this header material at a local supply shop and took a hacksaw and cut it down to the number of pins that I needed and that's just placed right here it's not even soldered in it's just kind of a press fit because all this stuff snaps together fairly easy uh, this unit I installed a on off switch and I'm powering it with four double A's now that's six volts these motors only want three volts and uh, so what I had to do was using the pulse width modulation was to cut back instead of sending a signal of 255 I'm only sending a hundred a signal of a hundred to that any higher than that what happens is that it overcurrents the driver on the uh, motor board and the little lights would just blink off and on and, it, and the tank won't do anything but once I pulled back on the power going to the motors then it liked it and seemed to work fairly well as far as the controller goes uh, this is the analog joystick that you can buy at SparkFun. I put a, a power switch on this and a power light indicator. And this is the antenna from the XB sticking up. It's actually mounted down in here and the antenna sticks up through. I'm powering that with a 9 volt battery. And uh, that, that sends power to the shield, the Arduino, and uh, takes care of the power issues. I'll give you a quick demonstration here. Go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to switch on this. And you see the little light comes on, just tells me that the power's on. And we'll drive it around a little bit. That's a quick demonstration. Talk to you later.